Undercurrent is a collective story exploring connections to nature, including the Humber River. My name is Vic Michel. I'm a graffiti artist from West Nipissing. It's been my profession for about seven, eight years. My name is Gia. I'm 14, and I heard about the mural at the Rexdale Community Center at the Hub. And I was really interested in art, so I wanted to try it out. And graffiti sounded really cool, so I wanted to learn how to spray and paint. Around here, I don't really see much art. At times, like, I do see some people like, present their art, and there are art galleries like in downtown Toronto, but I don't really see anything in this area. So I really, like, I'm happy that I contributed to it, and I think it's important to show that we're also here and like we have a voice. My name is Eden and I am 21 years old. I actually heard about Steps as a whole specifically with the Mick Michelle workshops. A friend had introduced me to the entire concept of the workshops and they were absolutely phenomenal. We learned a lot about the basics of graffiti and a little bit more about murals and how to develop one and working with the community with one. and. There was a lot that I definitely took away with that. Um, and then they offered a mentorship here, which obviously I would not want to turn down for anything. Well, we also had the support of our public art assistants, Sings to the Forest and Serena. Uh, they worked alongside uh, Nick and helped mentor the community artists throughout the week of production. My name is Sings to the Forest. I'm a graffiti artist based in Toronto. My favorite part was really meeting other like-minded artists and kind of exploring the city in different ways where I've gone to different neighborhoods that I don't necessarily spend a lot of time in. Hi, my name is Serena and I'm a public arts assistant with Steps. I am a freelance illustrator. I paint, I draw and write comics. I'm also trying to get more into mural arts. Just seeing how everyone's kind of reacting just by people passing by has been overall very positive and I could tell that it means a lot to people in this community. And so if you're thinking about the name of the project, Undercurrents, um, that's I think really what we're getting at. We're talking about the Humber River, we're talking about the plants and the animals, we're talking about diversity, but we're also talking about the interconnectedness, how everything is here working together, and we can't forget that. My favorite part was painting, because that was really fun, and then at first I wasn't really confident, I wasn't sure like, how to paint it, but then the second day I got much better, so it was therapeutic. But yeah, it's been um, finding out what the intention is, what you want to say, and then how do we communicate that? You know, if you just ask yourself uh, what you know you want to make, you'll stick with a butterfly and you won't be able to have the best option versus that dialogue is almost as important as putting a paintbrush on the wall. My name's Rakai Kelly, and I'm an autistic person. I'm 19 years old. I think it, I think it helps, I think it helps everyone. So everyone can do art around here, making a peace, making a difference to other people. It makes me feel happy, excited, and so much more. My name is Akosua. My name is Abidat. And I'm 14. I'm 14 too. We wanted to share our ideas, yeah, and our opinions. And we yeah. also wanted to help the community. Yeah, we love our life. Just the fact that we're taking a space that is so dreary um, and alongside, you know, 30 other really powerful identified women, um, it's pretty phenomenal that this whole area um, has had a bit of like an art, you know, invasion, if you will. I want to see more things like this going on because I, I heard that this was the hot spot in Etobicoke this year, North Etobicoke. So I wish to participate in more things and hope other people also partake in art. Oh, it belongs everywhere. It's for the people, by the people. And this is awesome how accessible it is. Do you have to pay to see it? No, it's for everybody and everybody as it should be.